Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Citizen Sleeper. Last time we left off, we got introduced to Ethan, the not lovable jackass that is currently chasing us and has blackmailed us into paying his tab, which is rude. Um, we have a few things that we need to work on. Disabling my tracker needs to come first because I need to be able to leave. I also have something I need to follow up on, find Ashton for uh, Ankita, so disabling my tracker comes first. I actually thought it was Neovind that did this in my head, but no, it's Fing. Fing disables our tracker. Maybe Neovind will do the same thing eventually. Like maybe it's an alternate path, but uh, yeah, you're specifically trying to counter the hunter protocol, which would be nice, but uh, I need another ship mined before I can do anything else with you, so. I don't see that happening anytime soon, so I think I want to focus on Fang now. We also need to save up our cryo, uh, really, really badly, so, because I need to be paying off a debt soon. Oh, cool, I do have an upgrade point. Oh, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm saving up for self-repair, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was self-repair I wanted to save up for. Okay. So, any engineer actions that we can do would be quite useful. Yeah, here we go. So I could become a welder's mate. Um, this is the offices. Fragment supply tracking yet again. I want to do the engineer things because there's a chance I can get random scrap from it. I only need one more data for you. Let's let's go in here. Actually, is there is there a Solheim data thing? It was, it was, yeah, it was Solheim stuff that you needed specifically. I do remember that much. So we need to find a Solheim node. Here's one. Do you take a three? You take a two, of course. Um, okay, so the last one of those I need, I need a two, four. Any of you take a three? You take a one. I just, I'm, I'm just looking to see if I can get any, anything useful. Um... Yeah, I'm not really seeing a lot. Maybe I'll just use that three somewhere else. Yeah, unless you require like ones and twos. That's the Solheim node I just looked at. Okay, yeah, so we need we need ones and twos for this. Um, oh god, I do need to heal myself coming up soon too, or I'm going to start running out of these very quickly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of things to work on here. All right, uh, history or no, the ship is salvaged. Uh, okay, so I can do this. We can do a five on this to give me a 100% positive action, which will give me yard clearance, whatever in the world that means. But yeah, once this fills up, you're not going to want me here anymore, which is a weird one. So let's get yard clearance, why don't we? Let's see what happens if I do that. Yard clearance and 16... Ooh, and I got a random uh, scrap item. Cool. I got scrap components. Neat. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Uh, so we have some of those. Once I get the other engineer thing, I can actually repair myself with these, which could be good. Uh, Alright, so we got yard clearance. What does that mean? Final pieces of the winter light sit in neat piles waiting for the collection shuttle from Havenage. Dragos's managed to sell the remaining pieces to the shipyards, a fact that's hard to forget as he's been telling you about it for the past two cycles. And all that remains is for Havenage to come to collect. You look around at the yard, transformed from when you first arrived. Mostly repaired drones flip back and forth, no longer buzzing unevenly or lost in dark corners. And the scrap is sectioning, sorted, the system that you and Dragos have put into place over the past cycles paying off. As you look, you notice the glow of pale light from the office by the entrance. That rundown cab of a building which houses all the records and spare equipment. Dragos must be inside, and you get to your feet and walk over to find out when the shipyard collection crew will be here. Should I knock or just walk in? I'm just walking in's rude, but I could catch you doing something that you maybe don't want me to know. Let's knock. Sleeper, come on in. You swing open the door and walk in. Dragos is sitting at the small metal desk. The shipyards told me they'd be here soon. Then they hand over the chits and we're all set. Write something with a stylus on the slate, then shuts it off. Of course, we should talk about a bonus. He stands and turns to face you, his face placid. 
Look, I, I don't know when the next job's coming in, but this should tide you over for now. He, he opens his hand to reveal a stack of shits. What's going on here? I said it's a bonus. Take it. Drago uh, presses the shits into your hand. I've done well by you, and you've returned the favor. He straightens up and clears his throat, and you realize he has prepared for what he is about to say. These chits are what you take and do what you will with them. They are for me, and they are the last I'm going to give you. Pauses. There's no more work for a sleeper in this yard. He folds his arms. I'm sorry, but that's it. You stay in the container as long as you need, but the yard's done with you. He turns away to his terminal. What do you mean? Don't press me, sleeper. This is for your own good. Glassy apertures on Dragos' headset betray no emotion. You need to stay away, sleeper. He pauses, considering his words. Trouble's gonna follow you here, trust me. Am I in danger? You expect not to be? You escaped from SNR! Drago suddenly grabs you by the shoulder and drags you out of the office into the yard. Turns you to face a stack of pieces from the winter light, dissected, cut down, totally unrecognizable as a ship. You came through that, sleeper. That should have been you, chopped and stacked. Sand trembles on your shoulder. That is what happens here. We cut down broken machines and move them on. Well, I didn't cut you down, but I'm sure as hell moving you on. Moving you on for whoever killed that ship out there comes to kill me. What do you mean? Shakes his head. These ships, they didn't get decommissioned. They didn't break down in dry dock. You think they'd look like that if they did? Someone ended them. That means someone tried to end you, sleeper. And I'm done waiting for him to turn up. We've had our fun, now it's time. He gives you a little shove. Okay, so you think someone took down the ship to get rid of me and you're scared that those people are going to come here asking about me. Go on. Turns and walks back to the office. That's it. He shouts and goes inside. Silence hangs in the air and you leave with your pockets filled with clinking chits and a strangely hollow feeling in your chest. Well, we lost a friend, but we got a pretty good amount. Drive failed. What drive was that? Uh, complete. Build a ship mine. St okay, study the winter light. That's the one. Yeah, I couldn't. I, that, that required into it, so. I wasn't going to do that. Um. Okay, well, disable my tracker is my next thing I want to do. Ping wants to dig into old Solheim networks. Yeah, help Ping chase his leads. Okay, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Um. Find Ashton. I have the money for that now, but I'm kind of thinking I want to use my money possibly to buy a stabilizer, but I also need the money for Ethan's tab. Yeah, there's some stuff going on here. Work your way into the shipyard crew. Okay, there's a few more engineer tasks that I can follow up on. What else do we got here? Engage. Eh. Um... The sealed dock, yeah, I need a ship mine for you. You're gonna be coming back sometime. Yeah, and you, you, you dorks are gone. Okay. Well, uh, Ort Exchange. Yeah, we've done all of this. I'm just trying to make sure I've done most of the things that I can do. Your tab's gonna take a few more days to actually fill up, but I need to keep some money just in case. If I get three more of those, I can make another ship mined, but I don't know where I'm going to get three more of them. Uh, low end. Play tabla, and oh, okay, here we go, block maintenance, cool. Yeah, this, this is one I want to do, I think. Because this is an engineer task, and I've actually already made progress on this one, as opposed to the, the welder task down there. Yeah, I think I'm going to make some more progress on this one. Maintained by their residents, the ramshackle blocks are always in need of repairs. Helping out is a good way to make friends. Um, so I have two dice I can actually use on this. The free spoke. Towering transit hub. Yeah, what was the deal with this one? Spoke is layer after layer. Yeah, okay. So uh, it's two skills I don't really use. And founder's gap is how I get over there. But it, qual it costs a hundred. That could be my stabilizer, man. Okay, let's uh, let's do some block maintenance. Slight chance for a negative here. Neutral. Okay, that's fine. And uh, I have a six here, but this is a six. Is there anything that I want or need to do that requires like? 
I don't think so from what I've been looking at. I don't think so. It feels like it's wasting a six using it here, but I don't care about any of these other things. I mean, I could get this maybe. Maybe. I could pick something else and use my sixes on that. I don't know. Hmm. This, uh... Yeah, this is just selling stuff. And this is interfacing. Yeah, see, I don't... I don't really care about those things, I don't think. Hmm. But like I said... Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Is that because I got some more information on a uh, low end? I guess so. Ooh, endure. Okay, noodle manufacturer. Mingi has a kelp stack in the basement and he makes noodles from the seaweed. He doesn't pay much, but he'll feed anyone who does a shift. And delivering noodles to the nameless units of the low end takes guts and a fearless and certain fearlessness when it comes to asking for tips. Okay, so that's a way for me to get some cash, some extra cash. Um, hmm. I would just like to know more about the low end, like I said. But, hmm. Let's, let's do some of this. I, I liked Tala, and if we can get four positives or somewhere around there on this, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I want to follow up with Tala a little bit more. I don't know if this is the best thing to do. I should probably focus on the other thing, even if it is wasting the six a little bit. But while I have a six, I want to use it on something I'm not good at specifically. 15 cryo and two good service. Cool. Gave me a little bit more money too, which is always nice. Might not be the most efficient thing to do, but it just feels dirty wasting a six like that. I, uh... I lose, like, what, one condition? So I, I'm still going to have three dice next time, but after that I'm going to need to heal. Oh boy. And I still have an encrypted key, but nowhere to use it. Okay, in cycle. Let's go ahead and just end it. See what we can do. Yikes. Ooh, okay, well I got a one that I need. Okay. We're not looking good. We're not looking good, this one. Um, the one is definitely going to be used here. Um, which one of these? I think the Solheim thing required it. Uh, you required it to... Damn it. Um, well, one of these required a one. We just gotta find it. I mean, I'm not gonna use the one anywhere else. Those are horrible odds on anything else, so I would rather just use it here. Um, I know one of you needed a one, damn it. You needed the special cipher thing. Um, was it one of these? Here we go, the Yadigan agents, which I can sell this information to, uh, to other people. Okay, so I have two options here. I can get a keynote, or I can get some information about Yadigan agents. Hmm, gang enforcers and plants are chirping on comm signals. Yeah, let's do this one. It might be able to get me some money. Which I definitely need at the moment. Yadigan data. So, a data cache skin from Yadigan hardware. Cool. So with that, I can now go all the way back here to Havenage. Uh, yeah, right here. And yeah, see, I can... A slate in the office advertises that Havenage are looking for informants on gang activity. Cool, they'll pay me. This might get me screwed over. Somebody might be pissed off at me from me out again, but, uh... I need the cash money. Ten cryo. Wow, that is it, huh? I mean, it was just a one, so I wasn't going to use it for anything else anyway, but... I was kind of hoping for more. They pay like shit, today I learned. Alright, can we do anything here? This is just about Ethan's tab. Okay. This is not good. Hmm. Really not, uh, really not enjoying where this is going. Uh, alright, low end. Um, let's engineer it up. Mm -hmm. Duh! Oh god. Um, we are starving. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to... 
I'm gonna have to eat. I have to eat. Yeah. Start action. I'm, if I'm starving, I lose condition, which I really don't need in my life. Uh, okay. Well, that cost me a little bit of my money. Damn negative. I had to use that for something. Okay, this is 50% positive, 50% neutral. No risk of negative here. Cool, I even got a positive, which gave me some extra energy. you will love to see it. Cool, cool. And we got two more low ender points. Okay. Good, good, good. I'd say that was a favorable outcome. Okay, really need a two from uh, this next day here. Unfortunately, I am fading. But like I said, I'm scared to spend my money because what happens if I don't have enough when Ethan's thing comes around? Yeah, I think we're gonna hold off until I'm a little bit worse off. This means I'm only gonna have two dice for the next day. Oh God. Really don't like that. I am declining. We got a six and a four. Okay, well the six will probably be used here at Overlook. Right? Ethan's coming in soon. Okay, um... Yeah, I mean, I, uh... Might as well take a, uh, bar shift with my six. Right? Start action. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen when I fill this up, but it could be something good. So, 15 cryo, thank you. And I may be just vastly overestimating how much Ethan's tab is going to be. But it says it's not going to be small specifically, so... That worries the absolute hell out of me. That's why I'm trying to be safe. Ooh, and we got the Tampor Tea House. Yadigan Run Tea House. Okay, so we're finding out more about Yadigan stuff. Tracking Havenage. You've heard that the Yadigan Enforcer based here has been paying low-end residents for information on Havenage movements. Or Havenage. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I can't decide on the pronunciation for that word. Okay, so I can... <clears throat> I've already given them Yadigan data, but I can also give these... The gang, uh, Havenage data. Important to note. Um... This is safe. I, I think I just want to do more here. It's gonna be a five. So, I'm not really putting myself at risk here. Neutral, plus low ender. Okay, nothing else though. Uh, I unfortunately need to buy more food. I unfortunately need to buy more food. I don't get anything for buying... Uh... Have I ever bought your stuff? Because... Well, you probably heal two. I bet Infus's stuff always heals three. That's why it's fifteen. Yeah, let's just get yours. Get me back up to full, please, Impus. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the days go by fast when you have this little to work with. The days go by real fast. But I want to let my condition get pretty low before I even waste my money buying a thingy. Alright. Yeah, the resource management's getting uh, rougher and rougher. Okay, a four and a five. Damn it, I can't get what I need. I can't get what I need. Hello. Uh. Oh, whoops, they were here, but I didn't talk to them. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I think they were. I think they were here, but I didn't actually go and talk to them. Not that I had the money that I probably would have wanted to spend on anything they had anyway. They're not the ones that sh sell ship mine parts. They just sell the salvage. You're the one that sells ship mine parts. <clears throat> Maybe interested in talking to you dorks, but... Alright, we gotta go over here and pay. His deadline. You have two cycles to pay the tab. He calls it being fair-minded. 58. How can someone drink this much in six cycles? Ethan hasn't held back while he's been at the compressor. 58. I wonder if it goes up the longer I wait. Or can I wait another day here? I don't know, because I would really like to buy some stabilizer. I also need the 100 cryo to get over here. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, it's rough. It's a rough one. 
Okay, um, let's look at low end. So, if I use my four, 50% positive, 50% negative, or 50% neutral, I think I'm going to go with that. Um, and then I'm going to use my five at the bar. Possibly. Cool, we got a positive, which gave me some energy. Nice, nice, nice. New drive discovered. What? Where? Get to know when fist for you to beat new in. Just say your track. Build a home? There's a derelict unit in the low end that remains unclaimed. With lots of scrap and a little work, it could be yours. Gather scrap at the unit. Oh, wow, I can get a new house. Okay. Input. Wait, I just need one? Sapphill is uh, with enough scrap you might. Oh, okay, but it takes one, but it probably just gives me one each time. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, I might end up selling my scrap here at some just just for the money, or I might use it to repair myself. I don't even really know what making a house would do besides get me a level up. At least I have another thing to use scrap on now. Might give me like a better bed or something. Hmm. All right, well, like I said, let's go over here and hit up the bar. So it is risky, but let's uh, hope we get a positive. Lease? Yeah, plus 15 cryo, good, too good service. Good, good, good. All right, so we got a little bit more money now. <clears throat> So, I think I can wait a little bit longer. Hopefully, if I wait longer, your tab doesn't continue to jack itself up. It probably is, though, right? Two cycles to pay the tab. Uh, I'll wait and see tomorrow. I, I, I want to know if it's better to just wait or if I should pay it off ASAP. Alright, I think that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, god, only having two dice. So rough. Uh, oh my god, we finally got a two. Would you look at that? Um, so, that last thing I needed was right here. Two! Give me! Finally! Jeez, it took so long for that to work. Alright, cool. Get me out of here. Um, so... Thing. I have some stuff for you. Or, oop, that's the wrong thing. I have this stuff for you. There you go. I wish I could, like, sell this thing or use it somewhere. Maybe I'll need it, um, somewhere. Oh, cool. We got, a uh, 15 cryo for that as well. Awesome. All right, Fing. What you got to say now? As into the bay, Fing is nowhere to be seen. The banks of servers and machines blink out of the dark in staccato rhythms. Unseeing eyes of the station's digital ghosts. Shitheads. Fing's voice echoes from behind a stack, followed by the hammer of a fist on metal casing. These snaky shitheads. Who's snaky? Sleeper. Fing's smiling head pops out from behind a stack. Just the emulated consciousness I have been eager to see. Come back here. You pick your way between the thrumming stacks, trying not to trip on the loose bundles of cables that blanket the dark floor. Fing is sat in front of a set of monitors mounted to a stack. Tell me, Sleeper, what do you see here? Fing waves at a monitor to his side, glowing with pale lists of information. You lean in closer, looking for the links in the data. The table seems to be filled with personal information, names, genders, dates, ID numbers, all the markers of institutional records. <laughs> Shitheads. People. People. Yes, but whose people? Solheim. Bingo. He taps at the terminal. I pulled these from the old data you brought in. All employees of the Eye's original owners, and... Leans past you and scroll down, uh, scrolls the list down. This one. This is a snaky shithead. He stabs at the screen with a finger. The name reads Harden Hurst. Friend of yours? Then gives you a sideways look. Funny you should say that, sleeper. He drags a stool out beside him and motions for you to sit. There just so happens to be a Harden Hurst in Havenage. He waits for your reaction. In Havenage? That's it. He's right here on the station now. Thing leans back in his chair. Just think about it, decades ago, Harden worked on the station as a... Fing leans across to look at the monitor. Senior Strategic Operations Executive. Fing raises his eyebrows at you. 
Arharden was keeping the money coming in for Solheim. He defined priority growth initiatives by making sure the extractors they contracted out to were hooked into a system that outsourced all the risk and kept the profit. What an ass. Good old Harden shuttled thousands of Palladium Rush workers into an infrastructure, which meant that their cut of the work they did went straight back into Solheim. How do you know this? I grew up here, sleeper. This is my history. I'm a child of the Collapse. Fing turns back to his screen, staring hard at the strings of code flickering by. Before I was born, my parents were Solheim contractors. They ate in Solheim canteens, worked on Solheim ships, they breathed Solheim air, and slept in Solheim beds. Fing's voice rises as he speaks, his hands fists on the terminal edge. And the work that paid for that existence? The cycles of hard extraction out in the belt? Solheim took their cut. This was a company town, so to speak, and my parents were just another in the long line of freelance contractors willing to risk their lives for a shot at anything other than poverty. Disposable. This guy, stabbing at Harden once again with his finger, strategized all that, did the sums, and then somehow, thousands and thousands of cycles later, is still going, still here, crawling in the walls like some shithead snake. He survived the revolution. Yeah, he sounds like a massive jackass, just actively abusing people just for the sake of profit. Which is, unfortunately, a lot of corpse. <clears throat> but how? These guys, they were big time. There's a lot of money can get you if you're in a if you're a company man. Thing relaxes a little, but how is Harden still kicking? I really don't know. Turns to you and smiles. So we are going to find out. Is he a brain in a jar like Futurama? Harden is now a big shot in the shipyards, just a few degrees back around the eye from here. Thing brings up a map of the lower eye. Havenage might be born out of Erlin's revolutionary zeal, but a flat hierarchy it is not. Harden happened. Harden happened to float to the top, I'm guessing it's supposed to say. Thing zooms in on the far yards. Thing grimaces. Thing is, I don't have access to those systems. The shipyard crew is pretty paranoid, and they don't like anyone from systems digging around in their stuff. Plus, we need more than just the name of a Solheim executive. We need proof. God, this means I'm gonna have to work in the yard! At least I have the correct stat for it, but I haven't made any progress there yet. Thing holds up a thumbnail uh, size drive. That's where this little uh, creation of mine comes in. Call it a ripper worm. He turns the drive between his fingers. It'll rip through any digital storage and spin out like a spin out a silken thread of filtered data. This one is set on the scent of Harden Hurst. He hands it over. Realizing I've been calling you Fing, but uh, I have heard that this name can also be pronounced Fong, depending on where you're from and where your name originates from. I'm probably going to keep going with Fing, just because, I mean, it's it's what I default to. But it might be Fong or f f uh, there's a there's a few different ways. It's like Fong, Fang. I'm just saying Fing, <laughs> but it's like Fang, Fong, something like that. Maybe, not sure. Getting into the compound might be tricky. Fang puts a hand on your shoulder, but you, however, have a particular knack for remote access, even though I don't have points in it. I just get shitty rolls. Fang grins. If you, if you can extract yourself a Havenage cipher from a Havenage agent, they sometimes carry them among their data caches. You can crack open the compound's network and slot the worm in through any open port. You never even need to go near the shipyards. It's okay, I'll use the Minecraft port. I bet they have that one forwarded. So what do you say? Up for it? Yeah. I knew it. I knew you'd be happy to catch the snake, and don't worry, once we nail this guy, I'll start work on that tracker of yours. I haven't forgotten. Thing scratches at his chin. Anything the worm gets, I'll, it'll send it back here. Something wrong here, and I aim to get to the rotten core of it. You leave Thing digging through data, among the wires and machines of the old station. As you walk out, you try to imagine the eye as it once was, a vast machine running smooth and strong, directed by people like Harden. A vast Solheim-built machine into which thousands poured from the surrogate systems looking for a new life. The hope of a better future, engineered to line someone else's pockets. It's an idea you're infinite, intimately familiar with. You think of Harden still alive, still part of this place, and wonder if the past is ever truly the past. We can make it the past! Okay, I'm really more sympathetic to things cause now. Yeah. Okay, did the game just save? It did just save. And we have hit 30 minutes, so uh, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end things off here. Because uh, I'm trying to catch up on recording. 
So I'll be recording again tonight, but we're going to end this episode off for now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Citizen Sleeper, and I'll see you next time for some more.